Hi guys, I wanted to come out here and give you a quick little review on how the American Dream Corn tastes. And you can see, it looks pretty good. It says it is um, bi-colored. I'm not seeing that. I'm really just seeing white. It kind of tastes like that, um, what is it, Green Giant, the shoe peg corn in the butter sauce. It's very delicious. It's very tender. Um, I just microwaved it. You can see not all of them are exactly perfect, but, and there are like a little bit of gaps here, but that's okay because I had to pull this corn early because the raccoons wouldn't leave it alone. So, I'm giving it a thumbs up and I'm going to tell you what this says. And this is actually in the Pine Tree Catalog. And it says the top choice AAS winner of 2018. It can be challenging to grow corn to maturity in areas where a long wet spring can keep soil temperatures too cool for planting. Those of us who experience this dream of a variety that can be harvested early in spite of planting so late. In our trials, we weren't able to plant until the third week of June when the soil, wait a minute, when the soil uh, finally dried and warmed up. In spite of this, we were harvesting by late August. Uh, plants grow about six to seven feet with bicolored seven to eight inch ears retaining sweetness up to 10 days following harvest ideal for home gardeners okay so let's see how tall this is yeah quite tall so they've hit the height requirement um, I did pick this I would say probably about a week ago I had some last night it was still sweet I'm gonna eat those other three ears actually later today um, what it doesn't really list in here is how many ears to expect per stalk and I would say two was the limit that I actually had um, they seem to really pollinate pretty well on their own I did come out here to pollinate them and it was probably about five days before I actually picked them so it really was unnecessary but I did it anyway just to hedge my bets and look at this they have gotten another one last night so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pick a few more this one here looks thick enough and the tassels are brown enough I would actually like it to be thicker um, that's one of the I, I don't know I don't know if I would exactly call it a complaint but that would be on my wish list that this corn be just a little bit thicker but that's really unfair for me to say because I'm actually running up against a time wall because of the raccoon I'm assuming or groundhog issues that I'm having so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to take this stalk out. I'm going to take this stalk out. That's going to create more airflow in here. And then I'm going to grab my yellow bucket of potatoes. Because as you can see, I have already pulled back the potatoes because I could actually get in here now. I would say I probably pulled about half of the stalks. So... I mean, see right here, I've just got one stalk on this one. One on actually all three of those right there in a row. Um, this one I might pull is, oh yeah, this one actually is really kind of nice and thick for it. So I'm going to come in here again today. This one, there's, there's nothing going on. This is not going to mature. I'm going to take this out of here. I'm going to create more airflow. I can go ahead and I can pull all of these because the feet of this, let me see if I can find a good picture of the feet of what actually corn looks like. This is it. This is the root system of the corn. And if it's not up against anything, like a tomato plant or a melon plant, and I don't think the majority of it is, so once I pick the corn ears off of it, I'm just going to go ahead and pull this so that I have more light 
and more airflow and I'm just going to drop them there and um, just really help myself to build up the soil a little bit more. So here's what the final verdict is if I wasn't quite clear because sometimes I ramble. American Dream Corn. Not exactly bicolored. That really wasn't the goal. I don't care about that. Um, it did live up to what it said. I did plant this probably, I would say, mid-May. It is June 26th. I picked this probably about, like I said, a week ago. I've got a, another batch up there I'll show you in just a second. The taste is wonderful. No complaint on that. I do wish it was a little bit bigger, but it could have been if the raccoons wouldn't have really pushed my hand on that. Now while we're back here, remember these melons? I kept saying I can't get one of these. Oh my god, I found one today. I'm so excited about it. I've got some great tomatoes going on here. They're starting to turn a little bit. So I'm going to come out, it's going to rain pretty soon, and I am going to clean up the rest of this corn in the back that I can. There might be one or two that I still leave so that I can maybe give that uh, some of those ears time to mature. And then I'm going to pull out this yellow bucket here, and I'll give it some air. And maybe I will push the actual bag of potato back therefore giving more air to these tomatoes in front. Now quickly, I just want to walk up here and I want to show you the um, second batch that was successful. Technically it is the third batch of this corn right here. So I'm going to have some more corn in a couple weeks. And I did have to untangle these beans because it was really choking out this corn plant here. Hopefully that will recover when these butter beans right here get to where I can pick these then I will go down at the base and I will cut them at the base. Um, something like right here. I don't have any plants growing next to it. Um, I can actually pull those but when I get close to like this corn I'm going to have to cut it so I don't disturb anything here especially these eggplants. You can see I've got some more beautiful eggplants coming up. Got three of them. Well, maybe possibly four right there. Um, I've already gotten three. They were quite lovely and gorgeous. We enjoyed them in a stir fry. And just a quick little note here. Look at how well those pepper plants are doing that we just um, cut. Remember we cut these at a 45 degree angle so they would start to bush out and they're definitely bushing out and we've got some little buds on them. So everything's going and flowing out here in the nice little driveway garden. So I really really liked that corn. It tastes very good. So that doesn't mean, however, that I am going to stop <laughs> looking or reading my seed catalogs to see if there's something better that I might like to try. Because I seem to never really stop doing that. Because I might like to get one that has all of the positive attributes that this does, but might guarantee me three or four ears of corn per stalk for my effort, for my time, for the real estate that it takes in the garden, and for the water that this consumes. Why would I not want to double the yield of my corn and not sacrifice the taste that the American dream corn gave me? So, we'll see. Love you all. Please like and subscribe if you would, and just get out and start gardening and creating and growing some of your own food. Bye-bye.